Hi everyone. I'm going to start a video here and I've not made a series before but I'm going to make a an album here, a journal, and I'm going to start at the be very beginning and I'm going to make a series. And so there'll be part 1, part 2, probably all the way up to part 117, I don't know. It's going to be long because it's going to take me a while. But what I'm going to do is I am going to use this binder. This is a binder that I got from the thrift shop. I, I left the dividers in here. I took all the pages out already. These are all recipes that I'll probably send to other people that don't need them in Happy Meals. You know, because there's some really pretty cool recipes in here but anyway we won't worry about that right now but what I'm going to do is oh these are bears okay this here is what I'm going to do I am going to remake a this Bernstein bears book I'm going to remake it this because I, I chose this book because First of all, because it's bears, and I do love bears, it says too much vacation. Vacation is another word that I'm going to um, theme this after. Bears and vacation. So what I've done so far is I, I took the book apart. This is the cover of the book. This, is bo this, this was um, just stapled together so it come apart very nicely then these are all the pages that were in the book now the pages the book it's aged you can see the aging around already when did they make this book let's see i already cut it um Nineteen eighty nine. Nineteen eighty nine. Okay, so it's been around a few years. Okay, so and and what I did was I took it to my guillotine cutter and then I cut it right down the center where the staples were. Okay, and so now what I'm gonna do, this is the this is just the beginning. And I'm gonna do this part first because then this part is gonna tell me what to do with the rest of it. So I'm going to, I need to get my holes, and I want to, I'm going to use this here, this strawberry banana tart, to, um, so I can mark my holes to where I'm going to punch my holes. Okay, now, And I'm going to, I want to start here because I want to give you all an idea. I know a lot of people show their altered books after they're finished. And um, but I wanna I wanna go through the whole process with you. Not that I know what I'm doing, you know. I don't really know what I'm doing, but okay, so I'm gonna punch my holes. And if you have one of these. Crocodile twos, oh good grief, I love it. Because see, I just went through all them pages and now I'm going to go through them all here and then the third hole. Okay, now this is all I'm really gonna do today so that I can tell you the rest. Okay, so there we go. Now this is going to go in here. I'm going to open these up. And this is what's going to happen first. Doing a three ring binder is very good because you can open and close them rings. So there, now I have the whole thing. Um, all the pages are here. All the pages are in order. The whole book is in order. 
Okay, so the whole book is here. Now, they're a little wider. They're wider than the, uh, the book that I have, than the actual um, binder that I have. The pages are wider, so that's not a problem. You can just fold each page in. And as the reader is reading the book, the, pro the pages then can be folded out to see you know, to see the whole page. We don't want to cut anything off. I don't want to cut anything off of this book. I want to leave the whole thing as it is. Okay, see, now what I will be able to do is I will be able to add pages in between. So here, Too Much Vacation um, is the name of the book. I have, I have been collecting bears. I have got all kind of bear things. Look at there's some bears by the water. This is a Christmas card with a bear. There's a sleeping bear, all kind of bear. That's a they say a panda isn't really a bear, but I call it a bear. Here's a parade of bears. And look at that's the cutest little card. That's gonna make a flip out. And look at that bear. Look at how cute these are. Now see, and look at them. Whimsical bears, snow bears, it says there. But I have got, there's a polar bear, there's some more of the whimsicals. But look at all the bears that I have. See, because I've been collecting them, cutting them out. Polly the polar bear. But I have a lot of bears. A lot of bears. How cute. Either side of that could be used. A bear can roll and tumble, too. There's a bear. A brown bear can reach its paws up high. There's a bear. This comes from the Teddy Bear Museum in Dorchester in the UK. Look at that. This will go in a pocket because I wouldn't want to um, ruin anything here. So that'll go in a pocket. There's a Think So Much card with a bear. This here is wrapping paper that was sent to me from um, Denmark. And um, that was from Katrine in Denmark. She sent me that. It's wrapping paper with bears. But, and, and this is just, just the beginning. Just the beginning of my bears. Okay, but then, so there's going to be a lot of bears in my book. But too much vacation. So then vacation tells me that I can put maps, vacation-y kind of maps. Um, I can put um, a lot of things that are vacationing. In fact, what I'm going to do, and this gives you some idea, um, as you go through this book, you read the book. Read the book as you're going, because reading the book will give you ideas. Like here, Papa Bear almost forgot the camera gotta have that camera when you're going on a vacation so I just so happened to have a camera die um, one of the um, Tim Holtz dies of a camera plus camera pictures of cameras uh, anything to do with a camera I might put a page in here that might have cameras on it here they're packing the car Okay, they um they have the car and they they have their luggage is inside of that trunk. So on the pages going in between here, I can have luggage there. I can have the car ready to go. I can have cameras and things about vacations. Here they're getting ready to go in the car. And, um, oh, but look at Mama's got the cute little hat on with the flower. So maybe there's going to be a hat on the page because Mama has a hat there. And um, everybody buckle up. You know what? If you find, uh, you know, an image of you fasten your seatbelt image, that would go good in here. And then could you imagine reading this book to a child and, um, and um, and then you have other things to also see that coordinate with the story.
And see, here's four safety bolts are clipped into place as they left for their safe, comfortable tree house, left their safe, comfortable tree house, and headed for the excitement and adventure of a vacation high up in the wilds of the Great Grizzly Mountains. So here, maybe you'll have a page that shows a tree house. You can make a tree with a house in it, or maybe you can even add, there's their house there. Maybe you can add another, another tree house. And here, look at their gone fishing. Here they are. So maybe you will find pictures in a magazine, fussy cut pictures of somebody gone fishing, anything to do with fishing, fishing. And they're at the mountains. They're at the great grizzly mountains. So, you know, drawing a picture of you know, just a plain piece of paper with some mountains up on the top. Here's water, people swimming in water. And then if you add in your pages, people swimming in water, you can absolutely let the story, the story that you're using dictate what you're going to do on your pages. So you don't want to put you know, you, well, you can put anything you want in your pages, but you don't want to put something that doesn't really um, go with it. You know, we probably wouldn't want to put a Christmas card on that not slate on there. No, because there's no snow there. But um, here it says, then to sleep through the peace and quiet of mountain night, far from the noise of traffic and neighbors barking dogs. And there's the moon. And so maybe you'll find a picture of a sleeping dog. Put that on a page in between here. And so, and, and like I say, read the story as you're going and find, um, and here's a place. Um, Mama said, all we brought were some canned goods. There you go. Now, out of your flyers that you get in the mail from the grocery store, cut out some canned goods. Put them in a corner of another page that'll go in between here. And, um... Let's see, but you will, you will find, oh, there's a skunk. Oh my goodness sakes. Oh my goodness sakes. Mom's taking a picture of that skunk. So, P.U. said Papa, click, said the camera. And, um, oh, and then they found the cabin that they're going to, I wouldn't want to be driving on that road. I'd be afraid of falling off. But see there, because it shows all these trees, you could put, uh, page here, a journaling page with trees on it. So many beautiful, there's the cabin that they're going to stay in. You see, they're at Crystal Lake. It said Crystal Lake looked more like mud soup. Uh-oh. But there's a little boat there in the water that they can use. And the, the cabin does look a little bit rickety. And so, yeah, the windows broke. Oh, goodness sakes. And so, but look at there, you can um, draw a picture of a window, but match, look at this, they got in here, and look at that cabin, it's a mess, oh, and look at their, mama took pictures of the little mice they found in the cabin, there's leaves all over inside this cabin, all over there's leaves, and so they're going to have to get them leaves out of there, but now if you have a page here, a journaling page, and you make it the size, I mean the, um, with leaves on it, there you go. You may have some leaf stamps, stamps of leaves, or um, something like that. And campfire there. And here, look, there they're opening up a can. And there's Papa. He's going to be cooking over the camps, over the um, over the fire. They're going to they're going to warm up a supper of canned beans and dried honeycomb. Isn't this great? This, and so here's where you get, um, here's where you get so many ideas now. Here where, um, here you see, look, woo, ribbit, ribbit, hoot, ribbit, ribbit. These are all the animals that are out in the, out in the forest where they're camping. And so we might have some rabbits and, and, um, Maybe we'll see hoot like an owl, so maybe we'll put an owl there. I've got some owl um, die cuts, too. I could put owls. But now the pages that I add are going to be the same size here. 
as these and then these and I'm not yet sure exactly how I'm going to um, how I'm going to use these because I will um, use these dividers and maybe make little chapters make it into a chapter book and have um, different things that I can put on these on these here but and, and here it says, and every so often, over, this is at the end of the book, they take out their pictures and have an absolutely wonderful time time on the worst vacation the Bear family ever had. But apparently their, their, um, their vacation didn't turn out to be all as good as they, see here's a picture of Papa catches our breakfast. We taste Papa's wilderness stew and apparently they didn't like that. But look at all this fun stuff. So fun. And then so in between I'm going to bend these. They close right. Okay. So in between each one of these pages there's going to be journaling pages but the journaling pages will all have something to correspond with whatever um, is on that particular page in the book. But look, I just, I've got some of these beers too. I got to put that in my, I got to put that in here. Um, this is the front cover of the book, which that's going to go on the front here. But on this one, I am going to have to cut a little bit off the edges because I do need it to be a little bit narrower because I have this this is flannel fabric that I have that's got bears on it. And, um, hmm, I'm not sure if I will. We'll see when we get there if this is going to be on the front of the book or just the bears. I'm not sure now that I see this, now that I'm really looking. Um, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that when I get to that part. But I'm going to put the bare fabric along the, the binding first. And then I'm going to cover a piece of cardstock this size, this length, and from like here to here. I'm going to cover that with this fabric. And it's going to attach here on the front and another piece is going to attach on the back and, and then I'm going to use these um, these are actually photo picture hangers that you can hang pictures with but I'm going to use them as like shoelace uh, as like um, shoelace rings and I will attach them to this piece the piece that's going to go here is going to get attached with these brads. Okay, so that's how that's going to go. And I use this. I have this this made. This is my um. This is my template that I use when I do one of those kind of bindings. So then all of my little, all of these little um, picture hanger things will be connected to these little holes. And then once I get these, that whole thing attached, well then I'll have the, I'll have the bears on the back. I'll have the extra piece is going to be just exactly how it fits here. On the inside, I'm not sure what I'll do because it's just white on the inside yet. So I'm not sure if I'll leave it like that. I'm not real sure what's going to happen because I'm not sure about that. So I have my book. Now I've got my holes punched in my, um, the story I'm going to use too much vacation. I have a lot of vacation things in here. Um, things that you would take on a vacation. Like um, hopefully I'll get a lot of junk mail like from uh, different stores that are showing that are showing luggage for sale, you know, and stuff because they, you get so much um, so many flyers and stuff in the mail this time of year. And, and so I'm hoping that within that I have two or three videos per week um, to get started with one of these. So that I, because I don't want to go fast. I, I don't do anything fast. I do everything slow. 
and so but that that's what it's going to be this is going to be this book and that is just the idea so i'm just sending you right now i'm just sharing with you the idea of what i'm going to be doing with this to re-alter this cookbook light and easy cooking collection yeah who wants to cook nope we want to make bear books and so one of my Christmas cards, I've been working on Christmas cards today. See, I jump from one thing to another, R one thing to another all day long. So I was working on Christmas cards, sewing. My Christmas cards are made with um, corrugated cardboard. They're in there. And then this is a used Christmas card. Old? No, this one wasn't used. These were, my daughter went and bought Christmas cards after Christmas last year, and she bought me three boxes of just Christmas cards. But I am making Christmas tags out of them. I'm not done with that yet. All I've done was glued this onto this. Oh, I'm on another thing. What am I doing? Okay, but that's all I'm going to bore you with tonight. And so, hopefully within two days, I will have something more to show you so that you will be able to go the next step just in case you want to work with me so right now all you need is one of these here books one of these like a binder if you have one of these any kind of a binder and you need a book you know a children's book fun 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 and um and you can give to gift as a child, or you might make this your vacation book. This may make your you might take had you might have taken a vacation or are going to take a vacation, and this might be where you would put your vacation memories and that kind of thing. You just never know till you get moving along on it. And so, but that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna be looking for more, more um images that I'm going to use because this is like my bears but I'm going to find more images that are going to be that are going to fit in with this story but by going along with the story and using the story to as my prompts for this book for this this um for this journal using the, let the story be my prompts I think my pages are going to fit right in and be gorgeous and so now if you all have any ideas that I haven't just now mentioned put them in the comments below because I read them comments and I work off of y'all's um off of y'all's um is smarts out of your y'all's um you know advice or input I like that and so um you might have another idea of something that I might want to do and so that's it so I'm going to leave it at that for now because my brain is just running and it's it's kind of late oh yeah it's after midnight and so I think I'm going to um I'm going to go ahead and call it a day or yeah it's a day and um <clears throat> I'm going to Let's see, what can I read? I haven't read out of this book for a while. Um, this here book was sent to me by Stacy Evans. She said, sent me this quite some time ago, at least a year, maybe longer. And um, But it is a good book. It's got so many good things to read. Just quick, just quick little things that say so much. You can sometimes read a whole novel and get the plot of the story is there, or you can read one sentence or one word. This one here says, believe there is always, always, always a way. Believe, that's the name of this book. And there is always a way, no matter what you have in mind, there is a way. It might seem impossible today, but there's a way. And here on this side, it says, when you have exhausted all possibilities, remember this, you haven't. That was written by Thomas Edison, and we know Thomas Edison is a very smart dude. So, if he said this, then it's true. When you have exhausted all possibilities, remember this. You haven't. 
So that's a very good one. I ask God to watch over each and every one of you every day, every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. And hopefully my plan to make this into a series will really work. Okay, God bless you all and thank you for stopping by.